trainers, welcome back to Pokemon Deck Check. I'd be Poke Dad. I'm the dancing bird <clears throat> for space. Indeed. Today on Pokemon TCG, we have one last round two matchup. Charizard and Reshram versus Lucario Melmetal. Yeah. And we have adjusted. This is a new build of Charizard. We know the other version works, so we're just kind of refining it, make sure we can dial it in a little bit more. Especially after seeing, what, how many? 30 in the top 64 from the latest <laughs> Japanese tournament. Yeah. So, I think we uh, pretty much called it on Charizard is the real deal, right? Yeah. So. I don't know. I think this game is going to be closer than you think. It could be, if you get your uh, tooling out. Heads or tails? Tails. I don't think I'll have plenty of time to get Heads, that. I'll go first. All right. If you get your uh, frying pans out, could be a difference maker. Mulligan. Uh, six, seven. One for Mulligan so far. Mulligan and for turn. I'm going to use Adventures Bag. I'll grab two choice pins. Okay. Touch. Touch. And I'll bless some of you. I'm going to look up for ruling while you're playing out your turn. So I'll tap. Drachi. Then I'll pass. Alright. Drop turn. Down, dust main. Ultra ball. Really? Why'd you do that? Dance bear. Got butterfingers today. Yeah. What are you eyeing up there? I'm just gonna fail. Why don't you just fail the ultra ball? Stadium. Use that, and then thank you. He's got the metal core bear here. Huh? What are you looking up? If Metalcore Barrier is before or after applying weakness and resistance. What did you find out? Um, that there's another set coming up. Uh, what would you do without me? Starve. Use the mountain and then attach it for turn. The metal Pokemon on this card is attached to you takes 70 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Before or after playing? Does not say. 
What would it be for? I think you apply weakness, and then you just reduce it by seventy. Yeah, probably. Pass. Draw for turn. Attach for turn. Welder. And draw three from welder. So 280. Is it? It's, I thought it was four energy on your bench. There is, no, it's four energy total. So we're at 280 and then minus 70. So t 210. Ouch. That's discarded. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to attack off those two. Nest ball. Lily. Adventures bag. Those two. Slow you down. Drop a turn. You can say so. Until you weld her again. Uh -huh. Fiery Flint. Which you are. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Four energy from Fiery Flint. And the hiccups. Of course. You always get the hiccups right before you're about to lose. <laughs> Which is all the time. Touch for turn. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> welder. Which is all the time. You draw three off welder. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because I drew another welder. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, dude. I like this deck. This deck is definitely legit. Well, you're playing against something that has weakness. Well, it wouldn't matter. I mean, look at the amount of pressure I'm putting on. Then, yeah, it's attack for three prizes. Add core barrier doesn't do too much. <laughs> Not when you're smacking in the face for 280. <laughs> Touch. <clears throat> you want to push up Lucario Touch. with the metal frying pan? No. <laughs> Remember, they all have uh, 30 less damage. Oh. So it's actually 100 less damage. Did you grab that with green search? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm grabbing that. I'm going to play Nest Bowl. Never mind. Hmm. All right, Lily, it is. Sixty sniper. Okay. Drop a turn.
Mill tank. You gotta be kidding me. Grisma the big guy. Stellar Wish. That guy doesn't want to be active right now. Keep switch. Treat. Attach and heal. Switch. Feel blur for game? No. I was hoping to get some sort of draw or some way to get energy a flint off of a stellar wish. Because hmm. I have another welder. Then his attack goes through any effects. So it would and it does three hundred damage, so three thirty going through any effects. So um we'll just do 260 and it's uh 200. No, me too. Cuz a frying pan and then your ability. Or your GX tag. I don't have any way to stop this. Just play it up. Touch. But I can't use splinter strike next turn anyway, so you can do outrage. Ultra ball, bell. Yeah, for well, sixty. Really? It still wouldn't knock you out. Field blower, the choice band, and escape board. Pass. Draw for turn. But I could just blow up that because I could Guzma well yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Guzma that and then I'll just uh, retreat with Volcanion then I'll use yep. 230 times 2 definitely Lucario's worst matchup Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but I'd say the new version of Charizard's working pretty good. Yeah. So that was a quick one, but I kind of figured it would. Honestly, I mean. Yeah. All right, so we have the top eight locked in, which is Zark. Greninja versus Blaze Fund. Hitmonchan versus Doug Trio. Venomoth versus Stunfisk. And Sylveon Guardi versus Charizard. Yep, yep. Uh, I can kind of. I think this will be the best match. Well, I think Stunfisk wins this, right? Stunfisk and Venomoth? Or uh, Stunfisk and Spirit Tomb? Mm. What do you think? I think Venomoth can pull it off. You think so? Yeah. I think Charizard absolutely crushes Sylveon because it has no way to keep from getting one shot. 
Mm-hmm. There's no fire charm. So I think that's auto win pretty much for Charizard. This, how you see this playing out? Doug Trio and Hitmon. I think Hitmon's going to win. I think so, because it's a little bit easier to set that up. It can keep maybe more pressure you on. You think so? And <laughs> think so. Well, I was hoping I, I was hoping uh, Baby Blaze or Zoroark would beat it. Hmm. Is what I was thinking on. But it didn't. So, all right. So, up next we've got Zorak Greninja versus Blazefawn, which... I think should actually be a pretty close game, huh? Yeah. So, all right, nerd. Uh, till next time, be excellent to each other. <laughs> Party on, dudes.